This is your Weather Extreme video for Monday, June the 20th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and at 5.34 p.m. this afternoon, we see the sun reach its northernmost point, and we begin the official start for summer, even though we've been in meteorological summer since the 1st of June. Surface map this morning features that high-pressure system that was over Virginia and the Carolinas that is beginning to settle slowly down into the southeastern United States. In the upper atmosphere, of course, we have this huge ridge over the southwestern United States that's beginning to bulge over into the southeastern U.S., uh, but we're still uh, experiencing a light north to northeast flow aloft. Temperatures across uh, central Alabama generally in the 60s. A little bit cooler over in the east central and northeast parts where that drier air has been able to infiltrate a little bit better. On the watch warning map, we still have uh, excessive heat warnings over the southwestern United States. And uh, that's going to continue through at least midweek. By the way, Yuma and Glendale, Arizona reached 120 for their highs yesterday. Ugh, that's horrible. Even though the dew points and the humidities were down, humidity around 5%. Our QPF forecast, the quantitative precipitation forecast, shows that, uh, that we're not expecting a great deal of rain for the next five days. Much of the rain along a front that is going to be uh, sagging down into the Ohio River Valley over the next couple of days. And then we have a little bit of rain that's showing up along the Gulf Coast, especially uh, over the Mexican coast. Storm Prediction Center is out looking a slight risk for severe thunderstorms today from northern Missouri in an arc up into uh, extreme northwestern New York and into the eastern Great Lakes area. Day two, it's still along that front, but it's in kind of splotches. Uh, one over the primarily southwestern part of North Dakota, another over Iowa, and a third over parts of uh, eastern Kentucky into Virginia. And for day three, the Storm Prediction Center has gone out a little bit stronger with an enhanced risk, uh, generally uh, from eastern Iowa into western Ohio, including places like Chicago. And if you're watching the tropics, we do have TD4. Doesn't look like it's going to uh, be able to reach tropical storm status, but the presentation on satellite is a lot better uh, with some very strong uh, convection going on down that way. And the National Hurricane Center's official track takes the storm into the east coast of Mexico uh, later today. And then it dissipates fairly rapidly uh, into early Tuesday morning. All right, the 06C GFS model run. There's our surface high settling in over the area today, and that should keep us uh, dry. By Tuesday, we see that the high has settled down uh, into northwest Florida and north Florida, across uh, the northern part of the Florida Peninsula. In the upper atmosphere, we're beginning to see on Tuesday that uh, upper ridge nose ever so strong. Uh, much more over into the southeastern United States. The uh, upper air map on Wednesday shows the ridge now really extending all the way from basically coast to coast across the southern tier of the United States. Uh, and again, I think we stay dry with the surface high basically right along uh, the northwest Florida coast. Thursday, the ridge is still with us, so no change going on right there. And again, we stay dry, I think, with the surface high just over, uh, just off the Appalachia, uh, Appalachicola area. Friday, the ridge is beginning to show at least a little bit of signs of kind of d deteriorating as it uh, kind of uh, breaks up into a couple of parts, one over the southwest U.S. and one over the southeast U.S., and then by Saturday, we still have the ridge in place, but now we're beginning to watch that really strong trough coming into the uh, north central United States in the vicinity of the Dakotas, and that's going to be changing the weather pattern significantly. In the meantime, that front uh, certainly has sagged further south, and it looks like probably Friday, maybe an isolated shower or two, and even Saturday, we may see some isolated showers. Sunday, uh, that trough... Uh, over the western Great Lakes is beginning to take uh, stronger shape and that will certainly help us because by Monday it begins to plunge down into the eastern third of the country and that will help to change that ridge substantially pushing it back into the southwestern U.S. and that will bring a front down into our area on Monday so it looks like probably Sunday Monday time frame could be our best chances for some precipitation over the next uh, seven nine days uh, for us in the southeastern U.S. Looking out into voodoo country, 
the uh, GFS is pretty uh, bullish on keeping a nice trough over the eastern third of the country, as we can see around the 28th of June. And it keeps that uh, rather broad trough in place as we head to the 30th of June and begin to enter July. But by the July 5th, at the end of the period, 372 hours out, holy mackerel, Batman. That is a very deep closed low for this time of year uh, over Arkansas. Is this pattern a little anomalous? Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Will this verify? I seriously doubt it. Uh, and it's probably going to be gone on the next model run. But you know, it's voodoo country. Well, I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Remind you that we are on a one-a-day schedule as James uh, Spann is off on a well-deserved vacation and uh, should have the next one posted first thing on Tuesday morning. Have a great day and Godspeed.